Hi, YouTubers. I have an Adams Family Thing coin bank taken apart. I want to show you the drivetrain. Uh, you've got uh, this, um, the motor with the pinion. From this angle, that goes counterclockwise. It drives this gear, which goes clockwise, which has this pinion on it going clockwise. Driving this reduction gear counterclockwise. Driving this reduction gear clockwise, driving this final reduction gear counterclockwise. This one has uh, the cam that controls the box shaking movement that rubs against that. And also, as it goes around, it has a tab on the other end that drives the hand up. And then when it reaches uh, the point of no return, it snaps back. Also, this has this brass disc here. That as it goes around, it rubs against this contact, brass contact, right there, that's uh, wired to the battery. Um, as it goes around, it's maintaining ground contact, keeping the motor going. And when finally it reaches this point right there, it breaks the contact and stops the motor. So then the next cycle, when you're... Um, Putting a coin, where is my little uh, coin thing? I've got parts all over the place here. Uh, where did I put it? <laughs> Thinking where I put it, it's stuck to the motor. The initial contact, this is actually just a ground continuity. When you place a coin there, it closes the circuit, gets the motor running, and then once it uh, does that, this brass wheel takes over. You can remove the coin from uh, this little uh, uh, slot there, and the motor will run on that wheel until the brass tab hits this point, breaks the contact, and stops uh, the motor from running. So that's, uh, that's how it works. I'm working on the gears. One thing that always breaks, and that's 90% uh, of the reason why these things don't work, are these uh, little nylon Years. I don't know whether they're nylon. They're not Delrin. Probably just old nylon. They harden and they crack and so they slide on their shaft. Let me find the motor. This one I've uh, reattached. It broke. You can see right there where it broke. I've reattached it with crazy glue and also <coughs> run some thread around it to hold it in place. That's probably going to hold me forever. I'm doing the same with this. I'm going to run some thread on it. I've already glued it in place, and uh, we'll see how it works.